Hi there guys, my name is Mrs Payne. I'm the Curriculum Director for Creative Digital Media, otherwise known as CDM. The department also includes A-Level Photography, A-Level Arts and EPQ, which stands for Extended Project. In today's video, I'll be telling you more about the Level 3 Cambridge Technical in Digital Media, which is the main qualification for the CDM specialism. Key features of the Cambridge Technical in Digital Media is that it's a media production based qualification where you will learn a range of different production skills, including video, radio, web design, graphic design, animation, to name a few, and also media theory, which will be included in part of some of your exams. The examination board is OCR. The guided learning hours on the course depends on what size qualification you want to do as part of the Cambridge Technical. Some of you may decide to do the 360 guided learning hours, which forms the extended certificate, which is worth one A level. Or you might be somebody who wants to do the 720 for the diploma, which is worth two A levels. All the A levels you can study alongside the extended certificate or the diploma is A level art and or photography, which is a very popular combination. Or you may want to do product design, English, sciences or maths. The number of lessons you will have per week is 12. You will have six periods on a Tuesday and six on a Thursday. In regards to UCAS points, most university courses, they start at around 112 UCAS points, depending on the course. Therefore, on the next two slides, you will see how many points you can gain on the extended certificate compared to the diploma towards your university course. I'll start with the extended certificate for the 1A level. As you can see on the left, Depending on the grade you are awarded for the qualification will determine how many UCAS points you will gain. The course breakdown for the extended certificate 1A level is five units. Three of those are exams, two of them are coursework units, and this is completed over two years. The UCAS points for the diploma were two A levels. As you can see now on the left, the difference between how many UCAS tariff points you can gain based on the grade that you are awarded for this qualification. The course breakdown for the diploma is 12 units. Three of those are exams, nine of them are coursework units, and this will be completed over two years. The course breakdown for the Cambridge Technical includes year 12 being your foundation year. So this is where you will build your skills in a range of different media products. You will take two exams in the January of year 12 and complete three coursework units alongside them throughout the year. The first exam is called Unit 1, Media Products and Audiences. You will learn about the media industries and learn theory too. The second exam is called Unit 2, Pre-Production and Planning. This is more vocational based. You will learn how to plan for a range of different media products. Coursework wise, you will complete Unit 3, Create a Media Product, is a magazine coursework unit. You will learn graphic design and photography. You will also complete Unit 15, which is an audio visual promos unit, which is video based and you have the chance to make a film trailer for an original film or a music video for an original band or artist in Sheffield. And lastly, Unit 20, that's an advertising media unit. This one is multimedia, where you will make print, video and web-based cross-media advertising campaign for a client. In year 13, we call this your specialist pathway year. Based on your experience from year 12 in the media products you've enjoyed making and the career that you want to move into, you now start to specialise towards your ambitions. Everybody will sit the Unit 6 Social Media and Globalisation exam, which will be in the January of year 13. You will learn how social media is used by industries to target different audiences for different purposes. Here are the pathway options that you can decide between. Firstly, moving image. This includes short film, which is a mandatory unit for this pathway. You will also do a radio production. You will do a script writing unit, which you can use for your short film or radio production. You will also learn how to produce and make visual effects and special effects for your short film. If you want to do something a bit more interactive and online based, you can decide to do the interactive pathway where the mandatory unit is web design. You will learn how to code four pages of a brand new website. There's also a photography unit, animation unit and a comic book unit. So these are the main units for each pathway. You will also do a few other units to make up your qualification. Now, who is this course suitable for? We ask for entry requirements of five GCSEs at grade four or above, including English and maths. The course is also ideal for students who are willing to collaborate with others and industry professionals. You'll be working with a number of clients to meet their needs and also meet deadlines. 
An aptitude for using computers and different software. We mainly use the Adobe Creative Cloud here at UTC Sheffield, so you will get experience at using industry standard software and equipment. This also includes DSLR, CGI, Sound Recording Studio, and BNR Max Suite 2. Also, anybody who enjoys or wants to learn more about digital media, not just in regards to the production, so learning how to produce a range of different media products, but also willing to undertake the theoretical side too. If you're somebody who wants to work in industry, all the sectors listed here are some examples of where our students have gone on to after studying with us at UTC, both at university or gained an apprenticeship. These include film production, graphic design, broadcasting, advertising, web design, and a few students have gone on to do journalism at university. Here are some resources you may need to complete the Cambridge Technical, but not mandatory as we have all the equipment and resources you need at UTC Sheffield. If you are somebody who does have access to a laptop with an i7 processor and 4 gig of RAM, feel free to bring this to your lessons. A 16 gig SD card as you'll be filming, recording things, taking photographs. So this is something we use to store your work on. You'll also be using a blogger account, but we will help you set this up in September. We do use the Adobe Creative Cloud for the majority of your coursework units and productions. Now, this is not mandatory for you to buy and have on your device. However, we do have a number of students who do purchase a couple of Adobe's programs and do have it on their laptops that they bring to lessons. We will give you more information about that at the start of the course. Now for your coursework, you'll be using an online blog called Blogger, and this is where you will document your progression in making your coursework pieces. And we submit this to the exam board for moderation. What's really good about using a blog for coursework is that you can use it as a digital portfolio, which you can show to future universities, apprenticeships and employers to show the skills you have built from completing the Cambridge Technicals in digital media. What's also great about using a blog, you can use it on the go. So you use it in college, you can use it on your phone and any devices that you have at home. Well, thank you very much for listening to my talk today about the Level 3 Cambridge Technical in Digital Media, which is part of the CDM Creative Digital Media Specialism. My name is Mrs Payne. If you have any further questions regarding the course, you can contact me at apayne at utcsheffield.org.uk.